Hey, what's up guys? Hope you're doing good. Um, dude, <laughs> I just had to make this video because uh, I saw some crazy stuff, man. Uh, as some of you know, I made another video saying I was getting another Humvee, and uh, that's still the truth. Um, I put a $15,000 priority bid on a new uh, turbo diesel truck, and unfortunately I lost. Um, that truck went for about twenty grand, which... I think is, is is pretty high, you know, for um, a used military surplus vehicle. But we got COVID to deal with. We've got crazy vehicle prices in general now, crazy used vehicle prices. So I guess it's within the realm of possibility. And it is one of the newer trucks with air conditioning and turbo. So, you know, I guess I, I, I can accept that. What I did see on GovPlanet, though, um, on basically everything else is just... I mean, absolutely, like, prices are reaching, like, fever pitch. I mean, it makes no sense whatsoever how much all this stuff costs. And I'm going to show some of you guys that. And I have no idea why, uh, you know, people are spending this amount of money on, on military vehicles. It's just, to me, it's absolutely crazy. Okay, so I've got GovPlanet pulled up here. Um, I'm just going to go to the last round of auctions here. So I saw some stuff on here that was just stupid. All right, this is a custom deal, some a private seller. I I understand how that can go for 62. But like look at this. So we've got a 2008 M1123, you know, just a little bit newer than the same Humvee I bought for 10 grand, and it went for $50,000. How is that possible? <laughs> 50 grand now it's got you know it's got the b pillar it's got the c pillar like mine didn't have that but is this like the one that's made of gold i mean i i'm completely confused and shocked that anyone would spend 50 grand on, on an m 1123 i must be missing something i mean look it's a this is a very nice humvee you know they got the red dot ac ready to go or the controls are on there um the seats look relatively intact. You know, whatever. It's There's not much visually wrong with it from what I can tell. It's even got a radio tray. You know, most of them don't have that. Uh, I think their red dot's disconnected. You know, it looks really good. I mean, this thing, it looks good. But, like, let me put that in perspective. 50 grand. I'm pretty sure you could get a Bronco Badlands edition for 50 grand. And before all you, you know... <laughs> whatever, I pipe up and say, oh, I would never drive one of those mall crawlers. A Bronco Badlands is literally more capable off-road. You know, you've got lockers, you've got uh, 35s, which 35 to 37, so what? You've got better breakover and departure, you're, you're, or maybe not better breakover and departure, but you've got, you're less likely to high center. I don't know all the terms. Um, and it's it's a nice vehicle you can take on road trips and it's reliable and drive on the road and it's not a six five you know thirty year old diesel and I mean I just I'm shocked that I I don't even know what to say uh, this thing better be perfect I mean it's got eleven hundred miles on it so that's good um, no no blow by. It, did, it doesn't even... They had to jumpstart it. Now, granted, I get it. The battery's probably just dead. But for 50 grand, you know, if you brought a Bronco Badlands Edition and it's got a dead battery, they're going to throw a new battery in there for you. I just... I don't understand this, dude, at all. This must be... I mean, come on. How is this worth 50 grand? It's not even a hard top. Got some... Okay, so it's got the, the intake... So that's the most egregious one. I really, when I saw that, I was just like, what is going on? And I just got a, the GovPlanet website's not, doesn't make any sense. Uh, so when was that sold? That was sold on the January 12th auction. So, I mean, this one at least makes a little more sense because it's a newer truck with the turbo and the hardtop. But $45,000? $45,000? Like, what? This is a 2008. Like, it's a nice looking truck. You know, they've got the airlift bumper. They've got a, a, a you know, a hard top on it. 
It is the new version. Um, but I, I just, none of this is based in reality. I mean, it's got the tur uh, turret cut out. That's cool. The most I would ever pay for something like this is personally 25 maybe 30 if I just had money to blow. Um, and honestly, they're worth about 15 I mean, they have, they're going to need work. So let's just, you know, this one, it is clean on the inside, but it better be for freaking $45,000. Let's just look at it here. Um, not the lights don't even all work. Uh, I mean, look, b blow by visible. It might need a new motor sooner or later. I mean, how how are people paying forty five grand? Somebody please explain this in the comments. There there must be. There must be something wrong. Forty-five freaking thousand dollars. I mean, seriously. Okay. I mean, say another. You know, thirty-nine grand. Thirty-nine grand again. Thirty-eight grand. Thirty-eight grand. Thirty-seven. I mean, this one at least is a slant back, but it doesn't make sense. Thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. Thirty-six. Six. Thirty-six. Why are people spending this kind of money on Humvees? This looks like it's had some going through and it's been redone, so maybe I understand this one. Um, but still, 35. I mean, for a soft top with soft doors, I sold mine with, you know, it was a soft top, but it had hard doors and a off-road bumper and rock sliders and a whole lot of goodies for uh, about 38, you know. So I just, I don't know why you would, I mean, have vehicle prices changed that much? Pretty basic paint job on this thing. It doesn't have a winch even on it. I mean, I don't get it, man. Thirty-five grand. What's the interior? I mean, <laughs> it's got overspray, you know. Uh, do they at least like? It's. It's got the factory seats. They just put a seat cover over them. You've got to be kidding me. I mean, it looks like they did something with bed liner, at least, on the inside. So I guess that's kind of nice. Um, and they do at least have the carpet kit. They don't even have the divider to keep the rain water out when it rains, though, or the snow or whatever. I mean, for you would think for thirty five grand they could do that. There's no bed liner on the floor. I mean, so they just painted bed liner in the middle only. So they, they didn't even take the time to put it on the floor. And, and I kind of like that idea, but for thirty five grand, I mean, come on, you know? You serious? And granted, you know, the paint does look pretty good. In my opinion, this is priced about uh, easily at least five or six grand too high, probably more like ten. So yeah, I mean here some of these are starting to come down to the realm of logic, I guess. Um like this 2008 uh you know, newer turbo diesel truck. I don't know the variant because it doesn't say, but 34100. But look, he's got the X doors on there. It's got a hard top. Those X doors alone are worth a ton of money. Um maybe I mean, I want to say like at least 3500 a piece, maybe 5 grand a piece. So that if they're in good condition, right? Um, so I kind of understand that this one is still it seems quite high. But like looking at this, you know, thirty three grand for an M eleven twenty three. I I just don't get it. It's got a soft top on it, no doors, and I guess it's got the canopy in the back for like the utility back or you know top or whatever they call it. The seats are all ripped. Um, it just doesn't make any sense, man. What is making this worth thirty-five grand? Look at the, I mean, you know, typical Humvee stuff. I mean, I don't think you'd find that in a thirty-five thousand dollar Bronco. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I'm sure you know. I mean, for thirty-five grand, like. It better be like literally zero miles. You know, this motor's rusting a little bit. I mean, so is mine. No big deal. But 
you know what I'm saying, like 35 grand. The only way you could would ever buy a M1123 for 35 grand is if like it was some rare unit that somehow never even got sent to a military base and it was a display model at AM General and you know what I mean? Like that is absolutely just ass and eye. It looks good, but visible blow by again. I mean, I just I don't get it. I don't understand it either. People are just going crazy and bidding, you know, solely on <laughs> bidding with their hearts and just wanting to win and getting totally carried away. Or there's something that I'm missing, and I hope you guys can help explain that. Um. Anyway. This video has been long enough already. You get the gist. I mean, you can go on GovPlanet and look for yourself. I Unfortunately, now I do not think it's the time to buy. Everything is super expensive for no reason. Um, I don't know what it is, but um, I will continue trying to buy a Humvee. I may not be getting a turbo diesel like I wanted. I may have to go back to an M1123 and then add the stuff like air conditioning, possibly a turbo, all that. I still plan on making it uh, a hardtop possibly slant back and hard doors um, and you know, all kinds of other cool stuff for the channel. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next one. Explain to me why this is happening. All right. I hope you can like, and subscribe. See you guys later. Thank you so much. Goodbye.